Hey there, we are live, and I am Sean Terry, and we're back here with Corey Boatwright, uh, the founder and creator of Retail Buyer Profits. Um, in tonight's training, uh, we're going to talk about how specifically to sell your wholesale property to a retail buyer using the MLS, and that retail buyer can have uh, VA, FHA, conventional loan. So in the 20 years I've been wholesaling houses, you could only sell to cash buyers. Corey has made it available to actually sell to retail buyers, which you can make an extra fifteen dollars to $30,000 more per deal. So it doesn't make sense to sell to cash buyers. Now, in the market we're in right now, cash buyers are down by 45%. So you definitely want to watch everything we're going to talk about. Um, we we're going to talk about an eight-step process, and we're going to actually relate it to a deal that we recently closed, made $32,000 on, and we're going to show exactly a step and then the step we actually did, and you can actually see it simultaneously as we go. And they're going to talk about his course, which is Retail Buyer Profits. Um, he's opened it up again. The last time we talked about this was over a year ago. Um, we had so many people interested. He's perfected it now, and it's just amazing. Um, and um, he has a couple students left, uh, spots on that. We're going, to, we're going to talk about that. Um, and also stay on to the end. We're going to give you what's called the secret document that allows you to get paid off the HUD selling to a conventional retail buyer. So um, so that's what we're going to talk about. And, and, and our mission here is to do it as fast as humanly possible, um, but without without skipping over. So try to make it as is as, uh is um, as speedy as possible. So, so first off, Corey. Now, Corey Boatwright has um, been in the industry for roughly, probably about nineteen to twenty years. Very similar to what I have um, in in recent uh, real estate wholesaling. He was known huge back in the two thousand seven, eight, nine era for doing short sales. Back and when that crash happened, a lot of properties were negative equity. So he did he basically created softwares for uh for doing short sales and made his name in the real estate industry because of doing short sales. Um and then he's done, you know, went on to do other things. He's a partner of mine in um in a, some apartment complexes we own. He owns a huge boat storage uh, facility in in, uh, in uh, Oklahoma, currently resides in Oklahoma, um, and probably one of uh, the smartest people I know in real estate right now when it comes to um, actually doing deals. So he teaches, but also he does deals. There's not many people in the industry that that do that. Most people either gravitate to the education space, you know, and we've kind of really, you know, you know, kept friends because he's actively uh, runs a real estate wholesaling operation nationwide all across the country. And he does deals every, he texted me this afternoon where he was closing on a deal with a mobile notary on a $52,000 deal. He was closing today, right? So, you know, we're closing deals. I got closing deals every single week. I have a whole team of people we do stuff nationally all across the country uh so does he so we're well versed i mean I, I i was dealing with my team today about talking to sellers about deals we got closing next we got like close to two hundred thousand dollars in deals closing uh, on on tuesday and wednesday of next week um that we got deals closing so you know it's 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 a it's a great business it's a highly profitable business and what's made it all possible, I know people that are crashing and burning right now because they're not able to sell the cash buyers because cash buyers are offering way too low. Sellers still want a high price, you know, and uh, and they're kind of stuck because what do they what do they do? They're doing a ton of less volume. And our business is actually increasing. People that are are just selling the cash buyers are uh, are decreasing. So they're having more difficult time. So Corey, first off, you know, um, real quick, what, uh, how did you come up with this model? I was just tired of selling to cash buyers, leaving a lot of money on the table. And that was the only option. I thought that it was, uh, the only option that was possible until I kind of stumbled upon, um, a, 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 a buyer that was using FHA funds. He really wanted the deal, but I couldn't sell it to him. And I knew I was going to make a ton of more money if I could. 
but I had to hold the property for yeah, you know, I think it was 60 days uh, on that particular deal. And so you had to close on it and hold it, right? I had to close on it and hold it. And as a wholesaler, I always call you know, this business the hot potato business. So the faster that you can sell your contract, the faster you get paid. And so it didn't make any sense. I wasn't a fix and flipper. I wasn't holding it for you know, 60, 90 days plus. So I wanted to wholesale this deal and I couldn't. And uh, then I got with an, uh, the general attorney that is a general counsel attorney with our title company. I got with my attorney and we figured out a loophole, if you will, in the market to be able to sell to retail buyers getting conventional loans, FHA, VA, USDA loans without violating any kind of rules, regulations, seasoning guidelines that they have. Uh, so making sure that that's, that's all uh, legal and then also been able to maximize uh, the, the property for the homeowner. So you can give the homeowner more money. You make more money as the investor. The buyer gets a new property that wasn't on the market prior because you're adding inventory. The broker yeah. that's involved in the deal, they're getting points or yield spread or whatever it is. The real estate agent gets paid more because they're selling a property for more than if you would uh, have one involved trying to just sell one to a cash buyer. So everyone uh, wins. Yeah, I think, um, um, you know, for people that are watching right now, um, real estate wholesaling, I've been doing it for 20 years. You've been doing you know, real estate wholesaling for pretty much close to 20 years. So, so people understand what real estate wholesaling is. So what makes sense is there's two ways to get paid as a real estate wholesaler that I've done for the last 20 years. And that is through what's called the double escrow simultaneous close. So, so, and then an assignment. So as a real estate wholesaler, you, you find motivated sellers that have a problem, you help them solve a problem, you get that property under contract, and then you sell that contract, right? So you get it under contract for 60, you sell it for $70,000, you make $10,000. That buyer has to be a cash buyer or use hard money or private financing. The other way you get paid is where it's a double close. So you close this transaction with the buyer's money. So it's always coming from a cash buyer perspective. Now, this you never have been for before in history been able to sell a wholesale transaction, a property you have under contract to an FHA conventional or retail buyer. That you 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 haven't been able to do that. And the reason why is the underwriter for the FHA or conventional or uh, whatever a uh, VA uh, that's using that financing, the underwriter wants to see that the seller is the owner of record, which in essentially, if you're the wholesaler, you're not, you're the middleman. So there is no mechanism to get paid. You can't assign your contract. You can't double escrow because the lender on the other side won't allow that. So that option was not available, meaning we would leave so much money on the table because would you rather sell something retail or wholesale? Right. If you have a if you have a distributor business and we're going to sell, you know, these little things, would you like to sell them to a wholesale company? Right. So uh, uh, basically and then have them turn around and sell at retail. You leave money on the table. It's just common sense. So so as a real estate wholesaler, we if you can sell at retail, you can make a lot more money. And what this what we're going to talk about tonight is the eight step process that you're able to sell your properties retail. So one of the main fundamental key facts about this is finding motivated sellers, finding a seller that um, wants to sell their house and they need, and it's more importantly, it's really not want, it's needs to sell their house. They need to sell their house. And why would someone need to sell their house? So when leads come into you, what are you seeing as the reason why they're selling? Several different reasons. Sometimes they just need to relocate. Sometimes they've got the property inherited. Uh, sometimes there's a fire on the property. Sometimes uh, they just uh, need cash and they, they need to liquidate their asset. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's, so, there's several different reasons. Yeah, it could be like um, maybe they have a tenant that trashed the property. Maybe they, like you said, inherited the property and they have multiple siblings. They have to work through to get it sold. Um, we're definitely seeing a lot of situations right now where people are relocating and they want to move and they just want to sell their property or their property's just trashed. 
you know, and they don't want to fix it up and clean it up and paint it and declutter it for a realtor to stick it on the market. They just like buy it as is, you know, take it off my hands. So, um, so th those are someone, those are people that need to sell their house. And where is the best place to find these type of people? So we do direct response to these owners. So, you know, we send out, we do pay-per-click and they, they click on the link that says sell my house fast for whatever area and they'll find us there. We do direct mail. We do micro silo direct mail drops to get into people uh, directly. So, you know, most of the time for us is pay-per-click. We use some aggregate lead sources as well, but it's always a direct response to the owner. Okay. So let's, let's show them real quick um, what uh, actual pay-per-click advertising is. So um, pay-per-click advertising is someone types in, sell house fast, right? Sell house fast, whatever. And they type right. in, and then what happens is these are sponsored search right here, sponsored. And these are ads. So you have different ads, you know, right here, you have an ad right here, fair property buyers. Yeah, this one buy all homes AZ. So, um, so these are people pay, pay-per-click advertising, pay-per-click. And if I click on this one right here, you can see it lands on a page. We buy houses for cash. They type in their address or whatever, um, and they get up. You know, they can get a cash offer and uh, on the property. Um, and what it does is it creates a lead. So someone can call. They fill out their information. Um, they have chat on here, which is uh, which is cool. So they can have either or. The bottom line is is that they have the ability to generate leads 24/7 um which is great. So, you know, one of the first things and you know when when we're asking is is where do we find it? We use Google AdWords, it's Google Ads. Um you get leads 24/7, you type in like a keyword we buy houses and an, an actual ad comes up. You know, this is a, like a screenshot of one of my campaigns, but you can see we get leads for $36, 14% conversion rate. And really, really in this good. particular case, we, in this one, we we generate sixteen thousand forty five leads um, on this particular campaign. So sixteen thousand leads came in just on this one campaign for thirty six dollars at a fourteen percent conversion. So when you're looking at that, it's a great mechanism. You pay thirty six dollars to get a lead. Now it takes about twenty or so leads to get a $30,000 deal. So that, you know, it, it's a great mechanism to be able to turn around and be, people ask us all the time, well, how do you find these leads? Now they're motivated, right? And you might have to talk to 20 or even 30 of them, uh, before you get a contract. So that's still pretty good. Even, you know, you know, it's still, um, you know, under a thousand dollars to generate a 30,000, uh, $30,000 contract, uh, which that's is pretty fantastic. good. 30X. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, it's um, it's it's really good. Um, so let's let's go into it right now. Let, we're going to talk about step one. Um, we're going to get into the properties and we're going to talk about what that looks like. Um, so step one is qualify the property and the seller. So I got an example deal that we recently closed. Um, that we have put together. So real uh, is is fast about like what was qualify the property and the seller mean. Yeah, so there's all not all the RBP deals are created equal and not all motivated sellers will qualify either from their asset, their property that they have, or them as this motivated seller will qualify for an RBP. So we look at three different categories of properties. We look at pretty, yucky, and scary. We do not do scary houses. Uh, they look, they you know are falling down, they're condemned, they're need, they need a ton of work. Uh, we like to look at the pretty and the, maybe a step above yucky houses for RBP. Anything that's going to qualify for someone, obviously, to live in, nice neighborhood, desirable, so it can be uh, get a nice appraisal, get an inspection. That's going to not going to have too many items. We don't like to spend more than, uh, you know, we don't like to have anything more than like twenty thousand dollars in repairs, and we don't even have to spend money to get those repairs. That's what's great about yeah. this program. We'll talk about that um, here in a second. Yeah, that's yeah. what's great about this room. But yeah, so it, that's that's so a here's an here's on an the, actual on the deal. Property. Yeah, here's an actual deal. We'll talk about here in, here in a second. Um, so this deal right here, if we're going to qualify this deal, 
right? And we're going to qualify the seller. So when we're qualifying the actual property, so this property right here is on on Delwood, um, and here's the actual uh, property itself right here, right? And here's yep. uh, here's some pictures of the property. So what what would you classify this as? Is this is this yucky? Is this it's a it's a this, step um, above it's a step above yucky. I mean it's it's not or it's probably yucky. It's about yucky, maybe a step above yucky. You can see it's got some um, granite there in in the bathroom. It had um, you know it looks like it's just kind of messy. It just needs to be cleaned up. Yeah, and um, it'd be certainly certainly livable. Certainly would qualify for a loan. I mean look at that roof. It looks roof looks pretty new it's been it's manicured someone's taking care of it looks like the windows are are you know yeah, fairly it's just new a little there. it's a little cluttered yeah. on the inside with cluttered. some i mean yeah. some junk and yeah right. and uh and stuff like Certainly that so this is a property them. we actually got under contract so you would when you're qualifying the property and the qualifying you're, you would say that's a like above yucky so this would in in qualify for rbp and what you know for everybody watching that doesn't know what rbp is it's retail buyer profit so um we call it rbp deal and that's how we uh we kind of reference it so just so you're following along um so now talk about qualifying the seller what does that sound like yeah so the seller you know has to realize that if they're not going to get uh if they're if we're not going to give them a price that's going to work for us for what's called a quick cash offer and uh -huh. the best way to think about this is most of the wholesalers, Sean, and I, I used to be doing this too, and you did too for years. We did the pawn shop, and in fact, I've I've, I've likened uh -huh. wholesaling to the pawn shop of real estate. You don't hmm. have to be the pawn shop anymore. Imagine this: you could you take a thousand dollar necklace into the pawn shop, uh, Sean. You think you're going to get five hundred dollars for it? No, you, you might get forty, three hundred dollars for it. You know, something like that, because you're selling. To someone that is going to give you cash, right? You're going to expect to get some kind quick of discount. Cash, like quick cash, quick yeah. cash, yeah. Quick cash, quick cash, right? So that's the sellers when we when we present our offer to them for quick cash. If they turn that offer down, we say, well, there is another option that we can potentially give you more money if your house does qualify for what our retail buyer program RBP also stands for retail buyer program, not just retail buyer profits. So your yep. retail buyer program, uh, you know, and you pitch that to them, there's a certain positioning that you have that says, yep. hey, if this house does qualify for that, would this be interest? Would this something interest you? Oh, by the way, if it does, here is uh, some of the credit. Here's some of the factors that are involved. One is we're not going to close as fast as we would on a quick cash offer. Why? Because we're dealing with lenders, bankers. Uh, you know, appraisers, inspectors are usually backed up. And because of that, we have to build that into our process for closing. So it may take an extra couple of weeks to close. However, by giving that timeline, you're also going to make X amount of dollars more. And, and sometimes this can be significant. This can be 30, 40, $50,000 more than your quick cash offer. In fact, uh, yep. many of the deals that we just closed on recently, Sean, were over 85% of loan to value of retail value of what uh, these properties are that and you're still making these large profits. So we, we position it with the seller that way. Yeah. So that you're, you're, you're basically going to step two and step two is the explaining the retail buyer program um, to the seller and explaining that process. Now right. you drafted a script and you have multiple different scripts. You have scripts for talking to agents. You have scripts talking to sellers, but right. what's great about this is that you have, scripted all these things out their time they're tested they're modified they're tweaked to make better and prop more profitable um um with your with yourself you know either you're talking to someone or obviously you have a team of people talking to people but what's great about this is that a deal that you would normally walk away from meaning the seller wants too much for the property now have you ever got a lead that comes in and you're cash offer your offer to get the deal done is x and they want y and the gap between where you are and where they are it's too big and you have to walk away big. right what's what we're finding is that gap is that we're able on the higher number to kind of come in line and get a meeting of the minds with them we're pretty close that we can give them a number that makes sense for them and we are signing more contracts 
with less leads. That means less marketing, more contracts, more in higher revenue because you're selling retail. Now, if, if you've been doing business as a real estate wholesaler, of what I just said right there should be a no-brainer to do immediately implement what we're talking about. Now, if you're brand new, you'll understand it as you grow over time. Great. But if you've been doing deals, if you have been out there, you know, doing the business and crushing, if you understand marketing, there's a cost per lead and you can actually get more contracts because you can offer higher. So you think about all the deals that have come in that you passed on. So here's an immediate money-making thing that you could, from this training, that you could do immediately after we get off. You go back to your database, you go back to your team and tell them to go back to their database and go back and we, and, and Corey has a special calculator that's, uh, that's awesome. Have them go through the calculator in each deal, call the sellers back and make a higher offer and see if you get that deal. That one thing alone, I'm telling you right now, literally could put, depending how big your data base is, 20, 30, 40, 50, 200, 300, $400,000 in your, uh, in your revenue right now in your pipeline, just with this one thing. I mean, whatever you did tonight watching this, what I just said, could literally put money right directly in your pot in your pocket. So 100%. having 100%. scripts like this. So you don't have to figure it out is absolutely critical. So you don't have to figure out what to say. It's already done for you. All right. So now step number three is uh, signing the contract and the AIF. Now it's called the attorney in fact, but you also call it what, what it's called again. It's a signing disclosure listing for a listing form. Yeah. It's a listing disclosure form. Okay. Now you've recently modified that, um, AIF, um, attorney in fact, but you recently modified it. Um, what's, what's great about it is you're constantly updating the course. You're constantly updating the information right. as it gets better, as you talk to your attorneys and as you get some stuff, you constantly update it, which is good. So signing the contract and, and signing the AIF. So we'll get into that right here. So here's an, um, here's an actual contract of this property. We signed that property for $60,000. Um, and we have you, obviously you have your full contracts that you provide to as well. All the contract stuff you provide, which is amazing. So we signed this contract and then we also signed this attorney in fact. Now, what is the, what is the purpose of that attorney in fact, Corey? Attorney in fact, super important because you want to disclose to the owner that you need to get exposure to a retail market and that's how uh, the rbp program works and in order to do that and stay in compliance you need to have an attorney in fact that allows you to be able to list the property on the mls a multi-listing service and uh and stay in that compliance yeah so so now you're able to list the property so it just gives you the right to list the property on the MLS, right? Um, which is essentially the next step. So now the next step now is you got to list your property. Now you can use a local agent or you could use a, um, a company that is, um, you know, something like this, like this is a broker list right here. They do flat fee listings right here. You can call 305, call Jack, just tell him Sean Terry sent you right here. And you, and we do the 149 MLS um, right here. Too. It's $149 and we can list the property on the MLS with this, you know, particular document with this document right here. Um, it basically gives you the ability to list the property on the MLS. So now what happens is, you got your property, you got your pictures. And we typically, people say, well, how do you get pictures? Well, you have sellers send you pictures, which in this case, in this property they did, or there's a company called Notable Notaries that will have them go out, they'll take pictures, we'll them. they'll send us, and they're professional style pictures that we'll use. So if they're literally, Notable Notaries has people in every city, every county, all across the country. So there are essentially our boots on the ground, which uh, which works phenomenal. That was my yeah. big thing is like, you know, what am I gonna do? We, we don't see these properties, we've got boots on the ground. So we list the property, we use broker lists, and we, uh, we pay a 3% to the buy side, whoever brings. Now, uh, when you list it, you have inbound calls from realtors. What is 
Tell us what that sounds like. So you have a realtor now that calls and says, hey, I want to see, see the property, right? Um, I, ha I have a client that's interested in your property. I saw it on the MLS. Is it still available? You know, what? tell us what that process looks like. Sure. So our disposition manager, and if you're just yeah. a one-man show, it would be just you <laughs> in the beginning. Yeah. But if you have disposition manager, you have a team, uh, he'll get those calls sent over to him saying, hey, Randy wants to see the house tomorrow at eight o'clock. If the house is on a lot box, which by the way, these two things, you need to write this down when you're doing this, especially nationally. And I learned this from Sean is you need to have pictures and access, but your num number, you know, these are vital items. Um, you got to be able to show buyers that are interested to go see the property. They got to be able to see it on their own time. And if, if they want to see it at eight o'clock, right, you've got to make sure that if it's vacant, there's a lot box on there. Um, and by the way, you don't want to have just one key because people tend to throw away keys and everything. So you need to have you yeah. at least to have a couple of keys, someone hidden, some others hidden other places that only knew, you know about, and then one in the lot box, right? And you want to make sure that you can get pictures and access. So they've already seen the property. Now they're going to get access to the property and your disposition manager will handle the coordination of those things back and forth uh, with that, with that buyer. Exactly. So, um, yeah, so what they do is they call us and then we do, and we, and we typically, what we do is we will talking to the seller, get a schedule. Now people can't wrap their head around telling the seller, we're going to list the property and we're going to have people walk through. They can't get their head around it. Right. You know, and I couldn't get my head around it that when I first started, time. but what I want to tell you is the more transparent you are, the better. So now the question is, why would someone go with you, right? Or why didn't they just go with a realtor at top price, why, right, at, at full price? What? Why would they go with you, Corey? What would make great them question. go with you? We get this question a lot. It's a great question, and it does. It's it's counterintuitive to how you think, but people would rather work with us than an agent because the agent perspective when they think about working with the agent is they have the agent's going to tell them what you need to fix up this property you need to put ten twenty thousand dollars in it to get the max out of it you got to clean up the property looking perfect uh you know you, you're going to have to spend the time to be there on the listing uh, appointments you're going to have to cater around it when buyers are interested and you have to take off work all of that just sounded like uh another job right when we position working with the seller, we're going to take care of everything for you. We'll handle all the calls. Don't worry about doing any work to the property whatsoever. We're actually going to help facilitate uh, that work getting done. And you yeah, don't have that, to worry That's really about big it. though, because typically if there's a roof that needs to be fixed, the seller AC, has to pay roof, for it out of their pocket to get Correct. it done to sell the property and they they don't have the money to do it or even be able to fix stuff and clean it up and paint it and store the stuff. They don't really, they don't want to do that. Or That's correct. And most agents are deal architects. Okay. We teach you how to be a deal architect and you don't even have to have, I can't, I mean, you don't have to have money out of pocket to even be able to get these things done. Often these contractors will get paid at closing for you. We've had a roof done. They they just got paid at closing. We had a paint scrubbed for an FHA. They got paint, they got paid at closing. We had a pool fixed. It got paid at closing. It, it, all of these things, these contractors understand, especially right now, they're willing to yep. do whatever it takes in order to get paid. And that's a benefit for you because you're a deal architect. The agents typically, not 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 all of them, of course, but most agents aren't versed in being deal architects. They're versed in putting the property on the on the market, waiting for a buyer to show up, right? And then saying, hey, going to their seller and say, hey, uh, you want to take this offer or not? They're not deal architects. And we learn how to create value and we learn how to take all of the potential liability of frustration and work Problems. and negativity yeah. and it's challenge like we, 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 off the sellers. We get deals with like, tenants that haven't paid and they're not communicating with the seller. An agent's not going to deal with that. We get, we, we, we did deal in Florida where the, the, the owner was literally just, she couldn't sleep. She was at wit's end. She's out of state. The property's in Florida. There's a vagrant living in the property. No one wanted to go over there because they were like, didn't know what was going to happen with this vagrant. And she's like, she's pulling her hair out. So like, what do I do? 
Well, guess what? We were able to solve that problem, solve the vagrant problem, sit, you know, get the situation, close the deal. She got paid. She was happy. We made some money on the deal. It was a win-win all the way around. N really, nobody could have... You know, solve the problem. We've had title problems. We have we got great title people that will handle those situations. So, um, so listing with either a local we did, we agent. Did a deal, we did a deal, Sean, and just outside of San Francisco, that was over three hundred and fifty thousand dollar profit on one single deal. Mm -hmm. And the attorney owned the property, and he had tenants in the an attorney. Get this, attorney. an attorney. You would think that would be able to resolve these things. Owned the property had tenants in there that he did not want to mess with, had the city on his back that he didn't want to mess with. And we were able to come in and wholesale that deal and make $350,000. Yeah. I'm, it, it, I'm telling you, we are, I mean, I always say I'm pride ourselves that, that, you know, the bigger, the problem, the bigger, the paycheck. So if, if you have the ability to overcome problems, which we teach, which you teach, out of over it, you even have a whole entire part of the course. You have this whole section on overcoming certain problems, and exactly. um, which yeah. is really cool. So, here's an actual on this uh, just a picture of a listing uh, on this particular property. So, we listed it for 1025, you can see, um, and literally eight days later, it went pending and then oh, it wow, closed yeah. right over that for a hundred grand. So, it was listed, we got it, it listed for 102, sold for a hundred thousand dollars on the MLS. Now, if you remember, we got it under contract for what sixty thousand dollars. So, people say, Oh, I you know, I don't want to do you know, cheap deals because there's no money in it, you can't make any money in cheap deals and stuff like that. But hey, we got it for. 60 we listed it for 100 you know not bad all right so now really now you're going to accept the highest offer so what happens is so now you list it you have a buyer that you know calls you they say the one they have a, they have a, uh, an agent that calls you with a buyer that says they want to look at now they look at the property they come out and they go hey in the in the in the in the the buyer who sees it says, hey, I really like this property. They could be conventional, FHA, whatever it might be. And the agent calls and says, hey, my off, my uh, my uh, buyer wants to make an offer on the property, right? So now we have to really look at what is the best offer. And it's not all about price. Is that right, Corey? Right. Correct. It's about the situation. It's about the terms, you know, involved on it. Now, the great thing is it isn't all just, Cash only, which is what you're limited to oh, as a yeah. pawn shop wholesaler, is cash only. And you know now you don't have to worry about that anymore. Now you can have terms. Now you can have exciting new, new things in there that you never really got a chance to deal with before because you're only allowed to sell to a cash buyer. Yeah, so it, it makes it makes a huge difference. That? And what, one of my one of my guys in the other room just got a contract and he's ringing the bell. Ring the bell. <laughs> but, yeah, Kapow, that's awesome. Good job. <laughs> He's get ringing it. the bell. <laughs> get it, get it. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, so so it's not just about a cash offer. You're looking at the best offer, not the best price. No, nah, awesome. Awesome. All right. So um, so in this particular case, you're accepting the highest and best offer. So here's an example on that property. So we got an offer in. Now, this is on the realtor form. Right here, yes. realtor form, you know, has buyer's information. Here's this stuff right here. And you can see financing is conventional financing, VA, FHA, whatever, $100,000 purchase offer for a conventional finance. So this offer will come in on a, uh, a, a realtor contract. It's not your normal BC contract, you know, your B2C contract that you would do in wholesaling. This is now the realtor contract. So yeah, when you look at it right here, contract. who signs that contract? So you'll be able to uh, do counters back and forth. The final document that you want to send the, the agreement to the title company is going to be signed between the owner of record and the retail buyer. Yep. Um, and how do you feel about uh, signing as the attorney in fact? Or the... What we, we do not, we do not have any kind of documents that we sign for the attorney. In fact, uh, that are settlement statements or anything to do with closing. Oh yeah. So the settlement statements, but possibly the purchase contract. Yeah. So what we, what we do is we focus on, it's all about transparency for us from the very, very beginning. Once they yeah. agree to this process, Sean, I get asked this question a lot too. 
how's the owner going to feel about you making seventy five thousand dollars on a property and, and they even see the new price that you agreed to 180 and now you sold it for 240 you know how are they going to feel about it they feel fantastic and you know why because we disclose that it's coming actually we tell them be prepared the offer that's going to come across is going to be about 80 to 100 percent of what your property will appraise for and it actually even could be over what the property will appraise for depending on how we structure the deal however do you care on where the money comes from as long as you get your particular dollar amount because the program's about you getting the max amount you can right in order to make this deal work and you don't have to worry about doing the repairs we are we're getting quote reimbursed for those repairs or the facilitation of those repairs at closing by the way mr owner do you have 15 20 30 thousand dollars to do these repairs yourself by all means, if you do, fix them yourself and list it with an MLS uh, agent and do all that work yourself. Handle the phone calls, everything else. If you don't want to do that, we'll do all of it for you. Here's our price that we're agreeing to. That's our interest agreement, by the way. And specifically on the documents that I give you, there is no price that is on that document. That is by design. Okay, you have an interest agreement with that owner, right? And then you have a mutual rescission and release agreement that basically... It, it, it divides you uh, apart that allows you to be able to sell to your retail buyer now and get paid at closing as if you were a lien holder. Yeah. And we'll, we'll talk about that here in the, the next steps that now, interestingly, the, you know, I've done about a hundred of these deals, you know, in the last probably, I don't know, this year, probably eight awesome. months or so um, awesome. that are uh, and, and, and there's only been, maybe a several times where we get the closing and the seller's like, Whoa, you know, I, uh, you know, and they tried, they want to renegotiate a little bit more money, but pretty much 90, probably 8% of the time, you know, I mean, we're transparent, just like you said, of exactly what they're doing. And we get a, in, in your scripts are phenomenal, by the way. So you have agreement on the front end. Hey, listen, we're going to contract a price. And we are investors. We're here to make a profit. And we uh, are going to sell your property for a higher price. And that's the only way we're going to make a profit on the property. So if you're not okay with that, then we, we're not going to move forward. If right. you are okay with that, then we can move forward. And then they're like, right. no, I let's move forward. We're good. So now they're saying, yes, you're an investor. Yes, you can sell my property for more money. Yes, you can make a profit, right? And if you do that, then um, it's 100% transparent. Now. Now you have a contract, you have a contract now that comes in, right? And you, and now you, and, and the contract is between the seller and the buyer, right? The contract's not between you and the buyer. And that, right. this is critically important. The contract's between the seller and the buyer, right? So you're nowhere in the transaction. The contract is between those two people Right. On and that retail buyer as a contract. Wholesaler, is you're nowhere in between. So we'll talk about that. But what you do is now we take those contracts um, and we give them over that one contract and you give them over to a title company. Now, um, Clothesline Settlements can do a transaction like this. You can talk to Michael at Clothesline Settlements. He's an awesome guy. Um, yeah, he can great. be able to help you out there and uh, and help you get deals done. He's not fully nationally, but um, they do pretty much, you know, probably about seventy five percent of the states, you know, across the country, which are uh, which are pretty cool. Now, here, how do you get paid? So, as a, as a wholesaler, you get paid uh, essentially from doing an assignment. So you sell your contract or a double escrow, meaning you're using the buyer's funds. Um, but this is not how you get paid in the retail buyer program, right? That's not how you get paid. Oh. You get paid by by recording a uh, um, uh, specific an document, affidavit right? Of equitable yeah. interest, yes. Yeah, an affidavit of equitable interest that allows you to get paid. So explain that. Sure. So the affidavit of equitable interest is really a magic document. It is specific. I can tell you when we went over this document about four or five times, you'd think, oh, that's just one little. No, there's specific verbiage that you have to have in there in order to make this uh, make this work. And this one document will cloud title and it will allow basically the title company to contact you and request just as if you're a lien holder. Uh, how much do you need for a payoff in order to remove 
that affidavit of echo interest, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 in order to offer clear and marketable title to that new retail buyer uh, that that is uh, between the owner of record uh, and uh, and and that's how you get paid. You get to release that affidavit of equitable interest. All right. So here's the actual, and we and this is a um, um, a notice of interest. Corey's actually recently because he's updated the course. And um, in digital real estate, dude asked on uh, YouTube, he said, hey, you know, do I teach this in my course? No, actually, Corey, this is, we're going to talk about Corey's course. He's fully updated. It's brand new. Um, and uh, he has all these documents, all these scripts, all this eight-step process he breaks down. Um, and uh, he talks about that. So um, the bottom line is, is that uh, this uh, gets recorded and then it gets released. Um, and then that's how you get paid. It gets released and then you get actual, you get paid, right? So then you get, you get paid on the deal. So you record it and now there's underwriting for the VA loan, the FHA loan, the conventional loan. They go through the underwriting process. Then you have the closing date. And then at closing, you go, you actually close the deal. What is, tell us about the actual closing process, what that looks like. Sure. And it's specific on how this works. Okay. So you get a, you do not, we don't record the affidavit of equitable interest. And we were using a notice of interest in the beginning. Again, you've got the new iteration, you got the newest document, affidavit of equitable interest has actually been acceptable more for more counties. So we use that document. But what happens is, is whenever you get a solid buyer, now what's a solid buyer? They are vetted already with their pre, uh, their pre-qualified to purchase the property. They already have, you, they've talked to the broker they aren't just getting started right now. They've already went through all their process of due diligence and all the items that they need. They are ready. They are just looking for the house. They want your house. They're qualified to buy it. Okay. That's a qualified buyer. And once you find that person, you agree to sell the property to them. That's when we send that contract over to the title company. The title company then is going to start opening escrow at that point. Right. Okay? And then we're, we, we're filing the affidavit equitable interest. And we do that either online through tools that we share in the course, or we just have my assistant contact the county directly overnight to them, according to their specifications of how much uh, that they need, it's usually just $25 or $35 for recording one fee uh, at one page and, uh, and, and, and doing that. And we send a check over to them we, we overnight. And then we get that affidavit recorded on county record, Sean. Now yep. what happens is... Title opens up, right? They know a lender's involved. The lender's going to start doing their due diligence. And about a week to two weeks later, they're going to pull title and they're going to do something usually called a gap check. Okay. So a gap check will pull against title and see anything that's against it. And lo and behold, your affidavit of equitable interest is going to show up as a cloud on title that has to be right. removed in order to provide insurance to that new buyer, title insurance for clear and marketable title. Nice. So, um, so now to actually, and, and, and to keep going on this deal, here's the actual HUD. So you have a HUD transaction and here's the payoff right here. Terry's was, it's a payoff on a release to NOI. For, yep. uh, so on that deal, we made $32,240 on that particular property. You can see we sold it for a hundred thousand dollars. They had their loan amount that was paid off on the property. Seller made $58,000 on the property um, and everybody, everybody wins. So the bottom awesome. line is, is that the, uh, the property what got sold, right? Um, we got it for 60, sold it for a hundred and made $32,000. So that is insane. That, that is insane. Most people awesome. would pass on that type of deal, right? Because the wholesaler, if the thing is worth a hundred, what would you have to get it under contract for? Even you get it under contract for 60 and maybe if it's like good, sell it for 70. And now guys, do you know That's where Springfield, Ohio is? Springfield, Ohio. <laughs> That's something that repair. So to, to answer your question, what you teach on uh, typically on before RBP was 70 yeah. cents on the dollar, right? So a hundred thousand times 70 cents, there's $70,000 minus repairs. And if that property was what, how many square feet is it? At least a thousand or more. Yeah. So it's probably going to be at least a twenty dollar uh, repair dollar per square foot. So probably more, another was... twenty twenty five thousand in repairs. Yeah, so you seventy percent less repairs, your... less fee, right? <laughs> yeah. Less your less your now. Now, if you want to make a profit, 
from it, right? Yeah. Then, then so you if you if you profit. do seventy percent, so a hundred thousand dollars times seventy percent, that's seventy grand less repairs on that particular like property. 000, it was twenty thousand. Yeah, so twenty thousand dollars in repairs minus your fee, and you want and now to make thirty two thousand dollars minus thirty two, oh right? So you it's would have to get 20, that property for eighteen thousand dollars. Now, now if I would have offered the seller eighteen thousand dollars, or I can offer them sixty, who will get? Now you're you're trying to compete against me. And you're out there and you're, you're trying to make offers because you got your cash deals. You're at 70% less repairs, less fee. And you offer $18,000 on that property in Ohio. And I come in and offer 60. Who's going to get the deal? That's yeah, just, right? oh my now, gosh. Yeah, you're going to, you will never have an opportunity to make $30,000. And, and, and we did. Now, this is funny right here, right? Here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. This is Springfield, Ohio, right? Population of 58,000 people, right? And you got Springfield, Ohio. And Springfield, let's see, let's see where this is. It is, I don't even know where it is. Uh, it's outside of Dayton. So it's a little town right here outside of between Columbus and Dayton, right? So right. The, the, the crazy thing is you can do deals in small remote towns, you don't and typically with wholesalers, right? They want to be in the big markets. I want big to be in metro, Dallas. Metro, hundred, five hundred metro, yeah, five hundred thousand yeah, people. Right, five hundred thousand. Yeah. I want to be. In, I want to be in Phoenix, in Dallas, in Vegas, right, in all these big right. markets, which creates ton of competition. When you Huge. get a call from Springfield, Ohio, right, with fifty-eight thousand <laughs> people, there are no wholesalers. There is no competition. Yes. Right. And because you're <laughs> using the MLS, because you're able to offer a re uh, like now a wholesaler, they would have to offer eighteen thousand dollars because there's no buyers in Springfield, Ohio. <laughs> there are cash buyers they are going to buy. So right. you would not be out of business. You would not be able to transact that deal. And we made thirty thousand dollars. That's awesome, man. It's so true. You'll You'll find that you will be able to, you know, the deals that you passed on just because, oh, wow, that was uh, too small of a market over there. Or, uh, you know, I had to pay more money. There's no way I could have made any money on this. Now, think about that. If you're a wholesaler, think about your, your CRM. And not only that, think about pre-COVID and, and, and say, so, oh, well, all the offers have changed now. And then post-COVID, how much things have changed now? You have all of these leads, Sean, that, that you have passed on, that you're in follow-up. And you're trying to get them to come down another twenty thousand dollars, trying to get them to come down, and you actually may have to actually be able to pay more. If we if you show the calculator, yeah. you can see you can pay more for the RBP deal versus uh you know than what than what they're even asking that they'll accept, right? So that's what's powerful about this is that you've got leads that are gold sitting there right now in your database right now in your database right now. Yeah, you know it's um, interesting. We had someone ask um, Terry ask a question about condition. So th this is the property we're talking about right here. So this property right here, we did no work for the property, right? Yeah, just clean um, it up. Clean and it up. and this qualified, up. this qualified conventional financing uh, on this cool. property, we didn't touch it. This is exactly the listing pictures right here of the property. Uh, here's the listing history of the property right here. Uh, May 22nd listed, eight days later pending in Springfield, Ohio, right? Uh, 26, we closed for 100,000. You know what I mean? I showed you a contract. We got it under contract for 100,000. So, you know, the question is, you know, the repairs, like who handles the repairs? We talked about that earlier, um, that, you know, if there is repairs to be needed, What's great about it is we can use local people. They can do the work and they can get, can get paid off the HUD at closing. Now we've had situations where we have FHA buyers that, um, and the, and the roof doesn't qualify. So guess right. what? We had the agent say, Hey, I, I know a roofer. I'll have him do yeah. it. And he'll just make, put, submit the invoice and get paid right. out of closing. Right. Great referrals. Absolutely. Yeah, that's and it one was, of the great things and about and it was literally uh, the easiest thing on the planet. Now, that's pretty rare because most properties will qualify. Now, if they're completely trashed, well, well, I mean, now now you're you're kind of it kind of puts you you it's really hard. But most properties, if they're completely trashed, then you can get that super, you know, that that super low price 
on that property. Okay, here, check out some of these success stories right here. Um, so Robert Nichols, first conventional RBP deal in the books. Um, used to be cash Love offers it. in this first conventional. It's gone. Twenty two thousand dollar deal. This guy right here. Twenty nine thousand dollar deal. Um, Juan right here. Forty four thousand dollar deal. Oh, and he actually will we'll, we'll send out these videos. It's actually on the page here. Um, you can see those officially closed and funded first RBP deal. Uh, now, this is interesting. So this is. Um, um, uh, out of Atlanta, uh, right here, $59,000 deal. His name's Jacob. Oh, yeah. Um, Great. and he, Jacob's awesome. Awesome. Jacob's awesome. Now it's right. He's part of our mastermind syndicate nine mastermind. And he, and we have our like top tier guys in the business. They do presentations on their business. So he, in our last quarterly meeting, uh, in June did a presentation. He just broke a million dollars in revenue. Um, he has only VAs running his business. He has about 10 VAs running his business, um, acquisition reps and disposition, um, broke a million dollars in revenue doing, doing this particular model, the RBP model, selling to retail buyers, listing on the MLS, that entire model. And he's awesome. operating at a 74% margin, meaning wow. He, wow. He, he closed a million and he brought home 74 and it was mid year June, right? So he'll do about 2 million this year wow. and he will take home 74%, uh, 74% at 2 million, you know, is you're talking 1.4 million net to the bottom line. There are Insane. some athletes that don't make that. And he's just getting started That's on this awesome. model, which is, uh, which is, uh, which is amazing. So, yeah, he's um, great. Yeah, um, these guys are out of Michigan right here. Uh, $37,000 deal, which is amazing. Here's Steve. Um, he got his deal. So here's what we want to talk about right now. Now, we've had some questions on here. Questions um, coming up here. Um, he goes, I'm sold credit card up. I'll do a course up. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get through the, the course. See, um, and, we'll, and we'll talk about that uh, here. But let me show you exactly what you're going to get in the course. Um, and full of training, uh, Corey's got 20, play, dude. appreciate that. Yeah. It's very crazy. Yeah. So he's got, um, we, we opened it up for 75 students. Um, he's taking, he's got 26 on, we have a discord channel that he has ac you know, access to. You can ask questions. Um, we're doing live, um, actually Q and a calls like support Q and a calls on this, uh, coming up. We'll talk about, um, but there's 20, he's basically got 26 students left out of the 75 opening spots. So, um, it's the retail buyer profits program. Um, and basically you get a precise plan to confidently sell your wholesale deal properties, retail step-by-step -step masterclass. You're going to learn to qualify properties. You're going to learn to, you know, get, you're going to get all the purchase contract, all the contract packages, the positioning. Now it's, it's retail price is $19.95, but we're going to give you a coupon code. That's going to save you a ton of money on this introductory thing at get RBP. So don't buy it yet. Uh, I'm yeah. going to give you a coupon code. So do not, don't run there and go get it yet. Wait, dude. Cause uh, I'm going to give you a huge discount. And you're going to love me. Um, opening escrow. Uh, we're going to talk about that listing with a local realtor. Highest and best offer recording, special document every seven step and the top seven problems solved. And we got case studies, which is great. You get these time tested, proven scripts, talking to the homeowner, talking to agents, talking to like Q and a, Attorney reviewed retail buyer contracts. So uh, Corey had um, his attorney go through each one of these contracts um, and be able to give it the thumbs up of approval. Um, so he's went through those. You have access to all the newest brand new contracts that are uh, getting done. Um, and the RBP calculator, can we, I just want to cover that real quick. Um, sure. And then uh, I'm going to give you the, the coupon code. So um, RBP calculator, here we go. Um, so if you go to RBP calculator now, am I going to have to register? Yeah. You have to Actually, register. I'm going to let you show your screen on this thing. I'm going to let okay. you show your screen. So can you show your screen? Yeah. Let me, uh, let me, let me do that one second here. Yeah. I'll let you, I'll, I'm going to keep going on my side. So I'm, I'm going to let you pull that up and pull a property up, but I want, I want you to show that. So, um, so the RBP calculator in this calculator is, is, uh, is correct. 
Now, make sure you use a www.rbp. It's here. It's www.getrbprofits.com. www.getrbprofits.com. Don't do anything. Let me, I'm going to show you where to get the document for free. And I'm going to show you a coupon code that you can use. Um, so there he's going to talk about the calculator. We got a four week coaching um, that we're going to do. Um, you know, after it closes, uh, Corey and I are going to basically be on um, and we're going to go through and walk through different deals and case study and answer questions. So make sure you have 100 percent support. Um, there is monthly support calls with me you have access to. Um, I get on every single month. I've been doing it for years. I love doing it. I, I just did one the other day. We had um, a guy on there got three RBP deals, close to $100,000 in closed revenue. Huge. Um, so you get all this stuff, $22,000. You get through all these different um, items, four-week live coaching, uh, monthly support calls. Plus, you get access to the uh, Discord channel. You can ask questions and be part of the community. He has a Facebook group that you get access to, Q&As, private group, newest updates. Corey does videos on there, exclusive document, case studies, the whole thing. So uh, it's 22000 getrbp.com. Now, here's, here's Corey's guarantee. Number one, you have one year. If for some reason you absolutely don't think it's the best thing since that burger right there, then you get one year basically guarantee. If you don't absolutely love it, you can ask for your money back. No harm, no foul. And I uh, say it doesn't work. You got one year. What we don't want is where you're stressed that you have 30 days or 60 days to figure it out. You got one year to basically get it. Plus, all you got to do is close a deal and send us a testimonial like these guys, like a video testimonial right here says a video testimonial and we will refund you a hundred percent of the course, right? A hundred percent of the course. And also too, if you need help on a particular deal, right? Corey has a partnership program where he'll split the deal 50 50. He'll take you, you get a property near the contract and you want to, Give it to Corey. He'll split it with you 50-50 so you get to earn why you learn. So that's a triple Absolutely. decker guarantee. Number one, you get one year to figure it out. Number two, um, you get a tuition reimbursement. All you do is send a video. Number three is um, you can partner with Corey and his team. So he's got 26 students. That's it. Once that's done, it's closed. And it's not 29, it's not 19. It's 997 or three pay of 69. And here's that coupon code. Two hundred dollars off, seven ninety seven or three pay really great of three hundred dollars. Right? Yeah. Um, to get there, all you got to do is go to uh, get www.getrbprofits.com. www.getrbprofits.com. So if you go there, you can get it. Um, you get the uh, course and information. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. Um, I'll show you. If Hundred dollars right here. So just put in um, two hundred dollars off. Boom, and you'll see right there. It's seven ninety seven, um, and you can sign up. Here's everything you'll get. You can use PayPal credit if you want on there. You can use PayPal credit, which is cool. And you go down here. And the free gift is right here where you can download the actual uh, attorney, in fact, or notice of interest you can use to um, to record their stuff on here. So um, you can go here, www.getrbprofits.com. Um, um, you can take this link. Chelsea will put it in the chat. So you have the access to it. So Corey, show this calculator um, sure. that you, um, that you, uh, you have right there. Why don't you show us a calculator? Let me see if I can get your screen. There you go. So this is the calculator that come. He just developed this. It's brand new. Um, he just revealed it. So basically, it's super cool. My team really cool. is using it to make offers on deals right now. So which, awesome. uh, which is pretty cool. So um, Bob, if you go to www.getrbprofits, there, Bob. Um, and um, um, let me go. Let me go to if you go here, www.getrbprofits.com. You can just put in the coupon code and you can continue um, and you'll be good. Um, 
and it'd be good to go. So, uh, Corey, go ahead and show that calculator that comes with the program. All you got to do is uh, check that out right there. Sure. I'm really excited about this. We spent a lot of time on this, and I believe it came out even better than what we even expected. Um, so shout out to the team for helping on the development, our development team. And, you know, <laughs> it looks good. It works good, right? So, you know, this calculator is going to show you a retail value analysis which is three different values that come up with a retail value. So let's just do an example. Let's say uh, one of the properties on Zillow is worth 150,000. You'll notice when I type this in, it's automatically going to do two things. One, it's gonna put the number over here in real time that is showing you what the Zillow uh, analysis is for that retail value for the property. It's also taking a percentage of the market price down here. And we'll talk about that in just a second. And then our um, REI Automator, which uh, is also, you know, or PropStream, whichever one that you guys uh, use, let's say that that value is 140000 And then let's say that uh, Redfin maybe is 175000 All right, so a little bit different here. And it's going to take those three values and it's going to average them up to what would be an average retail value of the property of $155,000, okay? Now, from here, what we're going to do is let's say that this property is going to need um, you know, some repairs. And then let's also say, Sean, that we're working with mm -hmm. a flat fee agent. So we're going to offer a, now this is really cool. Look at this. You can either offer a percentage or a dollar amount just from this little toggle. Very, very cool. So let's say that we're going to offer a percentage to our buying uh, agent uh, because we list it for $149 on a flat fee. So let's say we, now we got a buying agent came in and we're going to give them 3% of that deal. You're going to notice that 3% of that deal is going to come up to 4650. Uh, so keep keep track of that. And also let's say that when you're dealing with lenders, things like that, Sean, and we talk about this in the course completely going through individual videos. I walk you through an actual deal we did through the calculator so you're never lost by the way. So I I know I'm pressed on time here, but just, you know, this this calculator really makes it easy. So let's say a loan concessions that let's say that you have uh, maybe you, maybe you have to offer another thousand dollars in loan concession. Let's say you had a five hundred dollar inspection. Let's say you had a six hundred dollar appraisal fee. Now keep in mind these fees are coming out of the price that you actually sell the property for. We're going to go in here and show you what that looks like. And then let's say you had repairs of uh, let's just say you had repairs of three thousand dollars that you prepared and knew that you're going to probably have to pay for in order for an inspection to go well, in order for that appraisal for, let's say an FHA appraisal to go well. Let's say that, you know, you had to paint, you know, scrape, scrape some paint. Let's say you had to know how to paint one wall. You had to replace maybe one little couple of, you know, maybe a door or something. And so you knew these things were kind of coming in there and you put this in as a preparation. This is a buffer. Okay. Now imagine this, you've got this calculator, you're working the deal before you even make the offer to the homeowner, right? So you're already working in what this is going to look like. You're already telling yourself that we're going to be able to offer $9,750 in repairs, credits, and fees, right? According to how we're going to structure our deal. Now, once you're able to do that at a retail value, we noticed that about 85%, now it can be, you know, 80% or 90%, but about 85% is what you're likely going to sell this property for off the MLS. Meaning that the ML, why? The MLS uh, is, is usually not looking for very huge discounts because the type of buyers that are on there, retail buyers, they're not as price sensitive as investors. Investors want these big gaps, 30 cents, 30 cents on, you know, 30, 30% off the property because they're buying it for 70 cents of value, you know, minus repairs, et cetera. But you don't have to worry about that when you're on the MLS as much because you're dealing with a retail buyer that's more buyer uh, area specific. Maybe they like the schools, Sean, maybe they're, 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 they're families in that neighborhood. So you're going to see that they, that this number is actually going to come out very, very close to 80, you know, 82%, 89%. Gosh, sometimes you sell 95% of retail value, but we want to build in a kind of a good case scenario uh, with, with, uh, with the buffer. So we got 85%. So that means that you're going to list the property on the MLS for $131,750. Now, let's say that you sold the property. Okay, well, let's, before we do that, let's say we're going to build in a $30,000 fee, like Sean said. 
$30,000 fee. Now look what's happening down here. Notice what's happening. We're going to talk about that here in just a second. We got $30,000 fee for, uh, for, for, for uh, RBP. So you're, you're building that in. Now let's say that we sold this same, we're going to buy the same deal, but we're going to do it from the pawn shop cash only uh, old way, right? Which most wholesalers are doing right now. What are you going to have to do? You're going to have to buy it for 70 cents on the dollar, right? And then you're going to have to take out repairs. Now, repairs for investor is much, much different from just fixing the doorknob and, and scraping some paint, Sean, that would only take to get approved for a retail loan. You follow me? For like yeah, an absolutely. inspector or something like that. So the repairs on RBP is what I'm saying are different than the repairs that the investor is going to use in his calculation. Does that make sense? So the yeah, wholesale totally. repairs in this will probably going to be $25,000. Okay, $25,000 is what they're looking at in repairs. And then you have to build your fee in. So like you said, you're going to try to make a $30,000 fee. Now, check this out. This is pretty powerful, guys. This is extremely, extremely powerful. Let's say that we ended up selling the RBP deal for, let's say, $130,000. So it wasn't quite $131,750, but let's just say it's $130,000, okay? Now, look at our numbers. Look at what this looks like, okay? We're able to make a, th this is so powerful. This is, if, th if nothing else, I hope this, you get this, okay? You're able to offer the owner 41% more. $38,500 more than you would on a wholesale deal. And you're making $38,000 from your RBP after all of your fees, after all the buffer built in, right? And that's only if you sold it for 130. Let's say you actually ended up selling it for 130, you know, 32,000, which is around the 82, 85% more. Now check this out, guys. If you move this, right here. Look at this. It moves this number down here too. So you can kind of see if we sold it for 132, you know, we're still right, right around that, you know, 85% mark, 87% would be like 134, right? So you can see this as you go. So let's say that we, you know, we sold it for 132. Now what we did, we sold, we made $40,000 profit, right? 38,500 uh, more. And you're able to also uh, make $10,000 more, more, than you would on a wholesale deal. But here's the kicker. You're saying, oh, Corey, that's $10,000 more. Guys, I want you to realize this. Gals, gals, this is so important. Okay? You would never get the deal. You would have to buy it for $53,500. Let that set in for a second. You'd have to be able to off, only offer $53,500 and then hope that you sold it at what, 85 cents on the dollar? What? What's your retail buyer investor? offer? Yeah, what, what's your what, retail no, buyer what, offer? Ninety-two thousand. All right, so you're gonna you're talking to a seller, and the, and you go to the seller and says, "Hey, you know, I can offer you fifty thousand. I'm like, "There's no way I'd take that, right?" Exactly. But then you say, "Hey, listen, you know, I have another program. It's the retail buyer program, and I can get you ninety-two thousand, but it's going to take a little bit more time." You think they'd be more receptive? So, think about your whole database. Think about people you're talking to. Imagine. If you could sell the prop, I mean, buy the property, offer, you know, $40,000 more to your sellers, how many more contracts? The biggest objection people get in doing this business is, you know, your offer's too low. Your offer's too low. Your exactly. offer's too low. Your offer's too low. Right? 100%. Right. But this, this, you don't have to do that. Now here's what's powerful, Sean. We had to built this in just to just to kind of give a a kicker. If you were able to do, let's just say three of these deals more a month, okay? Three deals more a month. I want you to see how powerful this is in profitability that you're not making right now as a wholesaler. And this is finicky, but okay, I got it. So if you're able to offer, you know, three deal, do three more deals a month, right? You're making an extra thirty thousand dollars and an extra $360,000 a year mm -hmm. by doing just three more deals that you're probably throwing away right now because mm -hmm. you can't get that gap from 92 to 53. You can't close a $40,000 gap. Do you think on your position, if you ask someone if they're willing to take an extra two or three weeks and you're paying them $10,000 a week to wait that they're willing to do it? The answer is yes. 
And the, and the reason why is because they get more money, right? And you have, as a deal architect, a way to be able to structure this because you're exposing to a retail market. And I'm telling you, if you get on fire here and let's say you're able to do, let's say five of these extra a month, or let's say even, you know, 10, 10 month, right? Look at this. You're making an extra million dollars those that are doing some wholesale yeah. deals right think now. About all the, think about all the deals you make you extra million have. a year. Right. You're you're making you're you got leads coming in, but you're offering too low because it's wholesale, 70% less repairs, less fee. And they they say no, they call us up. We offer forty thousand dollars more. They're happy, and we close the deal, and make 30 grand or 40 or whatever the number is. So um, you're, so you're here's the deal. Make sure you guys go to a month. You're yeah. leaving a hundred thousand dollars a month on the table. If you're a go-getter and if you're just kind of getting started, you're minimal, minimal, leaving probably quarter of a million dollars. Let's just say you did two. I mean, yeah. guys, you can do go two, to www.getrbprofits.com, www.getrbprofits.com. He has a coupon code right there of $200 off. And the coupon code is 200 off, 200 off. Two zero zero O F F, not two zero zero zero. Oh, it's two zero zero O F F. Seven ninety seven three pays. Got twenty. Think like twenty six or whatever. Twenty five, twenty four. There's. Well, that's actually, gone now. There, in, right? So probably like twenty twenty two or whatever people left on there. So if you go there, um, it will take you to this page. You can put in your coupon code. You know, um, right here, two hundred off, and you can see you can check that button right there, and it will give you that discount, either the single pay or the two pay. You can do either one um, if you go to this site right here and check that out. So, yeah, the, uh, the calculator is awesome. We got some questions. So, um, answer questions. Yeah. So, a couple questions. So, um, people ask about the BMM Bear Market Millions course. Great course. Teach you how to find deals. We talk about um, listing properties on the MLS and selling them, but we don't go as in depth. Like Corey is, has an entire course. So we reference the course, reference RBP uh, course, but it's not the course. We basically, it talks about two deals, but he goes fully in depth and, and has, oh, uh, what's great. Um, he's always modifying and changing uh, and making it better, better too. Um, so, um, will this be a live training? Yeah. So the, all the course, like when you sign up right now, you have instant access to all the training, all the material, all the course. And we are doing a four week, like four weeks, like every Friday, we're going to be doing a Q and a like style case study all where we're going to answer questions. We can analyze deals. We can look at properties. We can comp properties. We can uh, give you some suggestions on deals and stuff like that. So, um, so we're, we're going to be doing that, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. And he, we're, we, we only have, he's only taken on 75 people. So we only have, we're not going to have that many people on the call so we can be able to spend time and look at deals and really kind of make it more intimate, which yeah, is we'll cool. answer every single question on those calls. Every single yeah. question will be answered. Yeah. So, um, so Bob saying he's having a problem finding, uh, finding sellers, right. Uh, finding any houses. So here's the thing is that, you know, what's great is, you know, if you do have the BMM course, I teach you how to find houses, right? Um, but what, 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 if you're starting out and you don't have a lot of capital between Craigslist and for sale by owner in your, uh, in your, you, you have the entire United States and you have towns like Springfield, Ohio of 58,000 people. You can't tell me you can't find deals cause you're not looking. If you go to <laughs> Craigslist, if you go to, um, um, you know, Zillow.com and you look, there are. I mean, I, I mean, I'll, I'll just show you. If you go to Zillow.com right here and you go to Z, uh, right here and you go to Zillow.com and you go on there and you go to uh, buy, you're a buyer, right? And you go here and you go, okay, I want buy owner, right? And I want... Owner posted. You don't want agents parking. You don't really care about parking square footage, any of that type of stuff. But you want to do, let's say you look in, um, 
I think you can do like, let's say Columbus, Ohio. And, and you, you basically, you can remove boundary and now I can, I can zoom out. Now you zoom out. Right. And I got Columbus, Ohio and look, I got Dayton and I got this little town right here. So now I let's see all these red dots. These right here are home type, their houses right here. And they're 274, right, by owner, right? 207, 260, 260. And you could put the coming soons if you want because you can get in contact with the owner um, on there. But these are all for sale by owner. All the little red dots. So now you zoom in and you say, okay, I want to do Springfield because we just did a deal in Springfield. And let's go in and I want see this one right here. Let's look at this one. Springfield. This is price cut. So is the guy motivated, right? $144,000, right? We can scroll down right here. Uh, I think they have where we can scroll down and find the owner. Uh, this one says agent. Let me see if I can get rid yeah, of the agent. Sometimes they're acting as they're in it when they're doing for sale by owner. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of coming soon. I'm going to press apply. I'm going to press 106. Yeah, maybe let me see agent. Okay, this will do that. But where there was a phone number on here. You can, oh, here you go. Property owner right here. Boom. Now you can make your phone call. There you go. So you're looking for listed by property owner right here. You pick up the phone, call the property owner, and look at here's the deal. Three bed, one bath, 1,100 square feet. Here's our deal. Right here's our deal right here. The one that we did, we made 30,600 square feet was sold for a hundred grand. This guy right here, 106 out. Oh. Now, what if you work with this guy, you get it for 60, you sell it for 99, you list it on the MLS. There, it will, well, guess what? You just make up $40,000 a deal. So you can't tell me you got the whole United States to be able to find deals. You got to look, and this is just Zillow. Right, you got for sale by owner sites. You got you know got you got all all sorts of stuff you can do. Plus, you got you're thinking, um, dude, like oh my gosh, that sounds like a lot of work. A virtual assistant would love to do that for two to three dollars an hour, and they will do it. And I'm telling you, there's more than enough leads there if you want to go that route. Yeah. So a question came in from like Alabama. Uh, we do Alabama. Thanks, right? Terry. Appreciate you signing up. You're gonna love this course. Thank you. Everyone for yeah. signing up. I really appreciate you doing it. I This has changed my game. And I, I will tell you, Sean taught me the nationwide business and it it changed my life. I mean, you changed my life. Well, dude. I taught I, you I, the, I you the nationwide you business. You taught me the RBP business. And we both, yeah. it's like, but we were doing yeah. it before anybody was doing it. I remember I told my team, I said, guys, we're going to list every property on the MLS. And we're going to sell every property retail buyers. This is when we we're doing all cash last year. Right. And they're like, no way. There is no way, you know, no way we're doing it. And I'm like, yeah. And, um, and actually this was, that was in 2021, you know, 2020, that was late 2021 when, uh, you know, the market hasn't even corrected yet. Um, so, uh, I just, uh, just appreciate yeah, I know that. You, you were also looking at, you know, novation and that was like a really complicated process. It was hard to explain to your team. I remember you and I having a, a conversation about that too. And, you know, the interesting thing about RBP is it's simple. It is really simple. It's eight steps. If you can't follow eight steps, I don't, I don't, I don't got anything for you. It's simple. I go through every document, every document in the course. You get our, the, our documents, right, that we've already been approved. You can take them to your attorney and state approved, but you get our documents. You yep. see case examples. You can, people aren't making it up. People are making massive amounts of money. And here's what's good about it. The owner wins, right? The yeah. investor wins, the broker wins, the agent wins, the contractors win. Everybody wins, even the lender wins, right? Yeah. Because you are bringing inventory now. And I'm telling you, these are great. These are, these are not for us, right? We, on RBP, we are doing pretty houses, maybe a step above yucky. I'm not dealing in houses that need a hundred thousand dollars in repairs. If it's not livable and it's not going to pass the inspection, I'm not doing RBP on it. Now we can still get those properties up onto the MLS and we do teach, uh, you know, Sean and I do that, but for RBP program, you're dealing in pretty houses, 
nice neighborhoods, desirable. They can get a loan for the property. It, 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 it makes it so much easier to sell properties like that. Yep. And it will change your life if you implement this in your business because it will you'll be shocked once you see how much money you're leaving on the table. Forget about how much money you could be potentially making. Think about how much money you've lost because you've got a hole in your boat, you're out in the ocean of pawn shop wholesaling, you know, and and and, and you're hoping that cash buyers are gonna pay more for that next deal. I got news for you. They're paying less. And I got other news yep. for you, they're drying up. Because they can't make their numbers work on an eight and nine and ten. Forty five percent less cash buyers, I buyers are out of the market. Right. The I buyers are out of the market. They can't make the numbers work for their fix and flips anymore because the interest rates are continuing to rise. So you right. cannot so continue go to, to run your business the same way, expecting that you made a million dollars in twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two on cash buyers. And and expecting to do that or more uh in this environment. It won't work. You have to sell to retail buyers as a wholesale. Yep. So uh, get rbprofits.com, get rbprofits.com. You can get it at the discount price. Uh, Corey has um, 26 or probably a lot less right now students. Um, and as soon as that, as soon as he hits the number, the cart will lock up um, and won't take any, um, any more um, people on. It's basically programmed for, you know, 26 at this particular time. So he has, um, that's, will go pretty quick. So um, you can go to get rbprofits.com, get rbprofits.com. You can use a coupon code 200 off from the retail price of um, actually 997. Um, and, um, and you can go there and you can check it out. So if you go there, you can see at get RB profits right here, you can just put in your coupon code and you can get the discount. Um, at the bottom here is a gift to, uh, download the, the affidavit of value, um, uh, of affidavit of equitable interest. So you're able to have that. Um, but this is the site right here. So, um, a couple things, yes, questions, questions on here. So, uh, so Terry, you've been a uh, you've been a broker for forty seven years. This is going to be easy for you um, to be awesome, able Terry. to uh, to be able to transition or add to what you do um, because um, you're able to you understand the listing process, understand that whole process, um, and you you once you understand how you have a motivated seller and they want to sell their property, but they really don't want to list it you know, the traditional way, and you can help them solve the problems, you wouldn't believe nationally, there are tens of millions of people that want to sell their house. Now, uh, at, a, at a discount, they just need help with a problem about their property. That's why I want you to understand is that we are problem solvers. That's where we add value and how we're able to make thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 because we're not just, if someone wants to sell their house and they want top price or whatever, we're, we're not their person. We're, that's not our customer. We, we, we look, we, we, we're not really looking, I guess you could say we're, um, we're, we're, we're attracting people that have certain problems that we can help them solve that problem from title problems to tenant problems, to vagrant problems, to condition problems, to, you know, to divorce problems, to transfer problems. You can name it all, but they're calling in. They're saying, hey, I'm in foreclosure. What can I do? I'm in bankruptcy. What can I do? And all these different type of problems we attempt to figure out. Um, and that's where we add value. And that's where we can make a profit, which is really cool. So, so uh, Terry, you're going to have no problem transitioning. Now, what I suggest yeah. is you get your first deal and then you take 25% of that profit. 10,000, take $2,500. 20,000, take $5,000 and reinvest it into something like Google AdWords where you can get leads on autopilot nationally right, all exactly. across the country. That's yes. how you transition from, and then you can now have leads coming in, right? Nationally all across the country. And now you become more efficient because now, and probably some of the best motivated sellers are people that come from, uh, to come from that, from that right now, once the other thing too is marketing. Once you have consistent marketing, just to add to that, Sean, you have predictable. You can start to have predictable revenue. Yeah, for this, uh, yeah. So, 
Um, so leads, I think we just talked, uh, talked about that, about, about getting leads. You can go to Zillow, you can go to for sale by owners, you can go to Craigslist. We use Google AdWords and pay-per-click advertising. We use Bing, uh, and pay-per-click advertising, direct mail, strategic direct mail to even these, you know, small little towns, you know, like we're talking about, um, these small, like, I mean, we, we did a deal in, uh, in, um, and where is it? Uh, there we go. The, and this little town right here, this, 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 uh, go back and watch this, but we did a town in this little Springfield, you know? Um, and then the, in Springfield we made basically here's, let me see if I can find it here. Here's the, uh, on that little deal in Springfield right here made $32,000 on this particular deal in, uh, in Springfield, which is, uh, which is uh, phenomenal. So, That's insane, um, which is amazing. It wasn't even a, so, wasn't even a thousand square feet when you showed that on. That is insane. You had to buy the property for $18,000 as a, as your traditional cash buyer on that. I mean, you, you would just, they would have told, they would have just told you to go to, go yeah. to you know, go to know, you know where. Yeah, yeah, so Sierra good. Vista's that's open, crazy. Tucson's open, and guess what? The rest of the United States is open, so you can definitely do that. Um, yes. Yeah, and now as the market declines, there's going to be layoffs coming up. There's going to be um, yes. interest rates are going to go higher. Did you see oil prices? They're higher, right? So what happens is inflation is not going away. Inflation's around. Now there's stress on the banks now. We're going to see more banking collapses happening because of the commercial debt that has to be refinanced. And a lot of the smaller regional banks are going to start going under. So in March, we saw bank collapse and they, they, uh, that, that is not it. It's, it's going to get worse because Great. they increase the, um, the interest rates they have, you know, they have, they have basically bonds, um, that are hold the maturity bonds on their balance sheets. And the problem is if they have bank runs, they have to liquidate those hold the maturity bonds and take massive losses on their balance sheets and they're not, they won't be able to be regulated. So the, so the, they, they, the fed comes in and shuts them down. That's what's been happening. So there's a lot more turmoil. I mean, they got COVID talks now where mask mandates are coming out and in Maryland and stuff, they got these things coming out, but guess what? We crushed it during COVID because we're national and we're over the phone. People still needed to sell their houses. People, guess what? Once we kind of got through the whole lockdown thing, people still bought houses and, uh, and we literally crushed it. So don't worry about if there's another COVID uh, other than, you know, getting COVID, but, <laughs> but you can still do business, uh, which is amazing. Even if the economy goes crazy, you're going to want to know how to do a business like this because we help distressed people turn their properties into cash. That's what we do. And do you think there's more distressed people when there's massive layoffs? Yeah, you know, I wholesaled doing 2008 and people were just like giving you houses back then. <laughs> you know, you did short sales. People walked away from houses, right? Now the away. difference is here, there's people have equity. So they're going to list their house. They're going to want to sell their house and get to that cash because they can't refinance because they're going to be out of a job. So they can't do that. So the only way they can do it is sell their properties. And we're going to be there to basically help position and help them turn the property into cash. And we can make a small profit and uh, as well, which is, uh, which is, uh, and and if you're using this, if you're using this strategy, if you're using this tool in your toolbox, you are going to be able to capitalize on that. That's what's great about this is that you're going to be able to sell to those people that still need to buy and get loans, get properties, and you're going to be able to absolutely crush it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, RBP program is uh, is great. Samuel, thank you so Thanks, much. Sam. Congratulations. Appreciate you. Thank you, Samuel. Signing up. Um, it's uh, it's it's uh, the economy is. Kind of crazy right now, but we thrive in the, this. Like, people are worried about real estate. People are worried about, um, you know, oh, what's going to happen with real estate, and what if the market crashes? I mean, honestly, real estate agents are hurting right now. Now, I, I've got, I, I've got one of my. Well, we we hired a, a gentleman by the name of Heath um, that got laid off, and his him and his wife were both as mortgage lenders for twenty seven years. Wow. They both got laid off completely out of the industry after 27 years. Crazy. And we hired him on. Guess what? His uh, his check this month is going to be twenty five thousand six hundred dollars. 
right? So So he's ecstatic, right? You know, all his buddies are getting laid off and he's getting $25,000 checks, which, uh, which is awesome. Um, yeah. Sean, would you say about 90% of your deals, would you say about 90% of your deals now are RBP? Yeah. Or or more. Well, we, we list the properties and we're opportunistic if a cash buy, if a cash offer comes in, we'll take cash. But you, we 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 got a deal in Charleston, South Carolina, or Charleston, North uh, Charleston, South Carolina, North Charleston, South Carolina, just north of it's a great little market. Um, we put it on the market. Yeah, we got cash market. offers, Hot but we, market, our, yeah. our our retail offers were forty thousand dollars more. Yes. So yeah, we could have taken that. the cash, yeah. but it'd be forty thousand less. Now they yeah. could close quicker and stuff like that. But this particular deal um, needed work, all this type of stuff. But it's perfect for it's like a little VRBO town stuff like that. That's a ninety-seven thousand dollar deal closes next Tuesday. That's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. RBP you'll, you'll on, what, on a RBP deal. Uh, what um, Sean's talking about there is that cash investors are different than cash MLS buyers. Yeah. That's that's what you got to understand. Is you know the, the MLS offers an incredible exposure to all. Uh, basically, you got to think about this. 95% of everyone that wants to sell their property list with an agent. Mm-hmm. Let, let that sink in. You're only dealing as a wholesaler of dealing direct with the owner, right? That doesn't want to deal with an agent. 5%. Now that 5% makes up millions and millions, you know, of, of still, there's still plenty of properties there, but the 95% want to work with an agent. And so they go work with an agent. Now, as a wholesaler, you're usually limited to just cash buyer because you can't list on the MLS. Now, imagine if you combine the two, right? You have now the MLS, the biggest exposure, the place where everyone's paying the most amount of money, the retail buyers are getting loans in order to buy those properties. That's why they're able to pay more. And now you as a wholesaler have a property. You've locked up that deal with an interest that you have according to how we teach in the, I teach in the course. And now you can sell that property, even though buying it, you know, effectively getting it under contract yesterday, doing the RBP program and turning it around and selling it to a retail buyer, right? Yeah. Selling it for the most amount of money, 85, 90 cents on a dollar, which is unheard of as a, as, as a, as a cash buy investor that you're, that you're selling to right now. Un- unheard of. They can't pay 90, 95% like a retail buyer can, right? And you can't do the deal because you don't know how to structure everything where it works. The title company understands everything. All the documents are there. You're covered. Everything's great. Uh, you know, the retail buyer program really is going to open up a new paradigm. Yeah, l- listen to this. So Barbara Robinson, she's uh, just posted, she's a broker in California. So California is our highest profitable state. California is great. I love California. And the reason why is the median home value is probably more than any place across the country, right? So if you have a high median home value, you can do well. So I'll give an example, Barbara. Um, I got a deal in San Francisco in the art district in San Francisco, um, a condo uh, that was um, like worth about a million one. We got it. It was the property. The guy was using it for like storage. Um, he was, wasn't even living there. He was out of state. And he's like, give me, give us 900 grand. Now we could never touch never. that deal on never. a wholesale basis. No. So, but right. we gave him $900,000. We listed it on the MLS. We had a buyer for a million dollars, right? A million dollars sold the property to a retail buyer that bought it for a million. A mil- he bought it for a million below market. We sold it and for a million dollars and we made a hundred thousand dollars on that deal on a condo in the art district. There's maybe 900 square feet in San Francisco. And I, I, I love California. I mean, we got a deal in, um, in, uh, Santa Barbara, Right. And we gave the guy what he wanted. That's the amazing thing about pay-per-click advertising. And also, too, if you're going on like Zillow, when you start talking to people. Um, so they said, hey, well, what would you like to get for your property? He goes, you know, give me a, you give me a half a million. And here's the situation. There was tenants that were doing drugs and he was afraid of them. He didn't want to deal with them. Right. So I, I, I at the time I had a house in Dana Point. So I drove up from Dana Point to the house in Santa Barbara. And, and, and basically negotiated with these druggy tenants to move out. 
and I got them to move out of the property, but we gave the guy 500,000. We sold the property um, for 700,000 and we made $192,000 and the guy was ecstatic, right? He, we disclosed, he knew exactly what we're making. He's like, listen, you guys may, I, I got my half a million. You can make as much as you want. You handle the problem. We're all good. Love California. California is a, uh, a great cool. market, which is, uh, which is awesome. So, um, uh, yeah, so those who are just purchased, um, we'll be sending login information, link of the course. So Chelsea, you should be getting an email, uh, like login details and login information, um, to have access to the course. So, um, Chelsea's actually, she's monitoring chat right now, um, in the YouTube chat. So she'll, she'll, hey, um, she can reach out to you, um, about that, uh, and get that, get that all handled there. Rocket offers, which is, uh, which is cool and gets your information. And now Corey, Corey did really, uh, awesome detail for other people. Um, go to get RBP profits.com, get RBP profits.com. Uh, make sure you use the coupon code 200 off to get 200 off the retail price um, of the property and uh, of the property <laughs> of the, uh, of this. And it, when you go I there, we to get I bet uh, we have less than 10 left. I bet we have less than 10 spots left. If I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, you got to check, really so. move in here. I can't take everybody on, uh, on these courses. Neither do you want me to, we do these yeah. calls. So if you're going to move on this, take, take it. You got a triple decker guarantee. Can we just share that one more time, Sean? I think yeah, let me show that. Yeah, let, let me show that powerful. this is insane. And and Corey put this together. So this is a triple guarantee, triple decker guarantee. So number one, you have one year, right? No questions, whatever. Never you, been if done you, in our market. One year's never been done in our market, by the way. One year, uh, basically, if you don't absolutely love it, whatever. With and here's and here's the reason why Corey did this is because he didn't want you to have pressure to rush to do a you know to do a deal in 30 days or 60 days you've got time to to be able to absorb the information apply it, it took me at least a, a month or two to kind of wrap my head around it and do our first deal and get it done then That's we're off true. to the races I remember that. The, yeah the second <laughs> one is you will get the course for free right just send us a hud right a hud like proving that you close the deal with a video and we will send you you'll get the course for free so yes you can get it for free um and uh if you get a deal under contract and you're kind of lost and don't know what to do next you can submit it to Corey. he will work with you to close the deal and you guys can split the profit 50 50 on the deal but you get to learn why you earn in the process which is uh this is really cool so, um, Sam will say, how long does it take to get the email? It might take, it might take, um, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to get the email. Um, if not, uh, reach out to help at flip to freedom.com help at flip to freedom. Chelsea, um, is on here and she'll make sure you guys have no problem getting logged in. Um, the page and getting, getting hit uh, hard set up, too. No if problem. everybody's ordering, if everybody's ordering, it might take, you know, it, to load, you yeah. might want to refresh the page to where's, where do they go again? Is it get RBP? Is it, it's www.getrbprofits.com. Yeah. yeah. Get rbprofits.com. Just go right here and uh, you can get rbprofits.com right here. It makes you put the www dot. You go here, you put in the coupon codes, you get the coupon codes in there and you get um, everything. And what you do is you'll, you'll log in, um, you sign up, You'll sign up, you get, and you get login detail information. She'll get it for you. And, um, and, and you guys will be all set, but you'll have that. Um, you'll have it tonight. Typically automatic. Um, but if more people are signing up than normal, might, might you slow show down the link. The can you show the link on there one more time, Sean, show the link real quick, get RB so we can see it. Yeah. Let me see. Get www. Can you put the link in the chat again too, please? It's been a minute. So I want to make sure everybody gets there. Yep. Get RB prop www. Get RB profits. Dot com. Yep. W and also Chelsea, don't if you can put the they, link they in the use, chat um, or Alec, put the link can, in the chat. That'd be they great. They can do a uh, PayPal credit too. And that like a cool yep. thing that, yeah, PayPal yeah. credit's cool. And, and once you go to the actual www. Get RB profits, you go down here. Um, and you go to PayPal credit, you can buy now and pay later. Um, what's cool about that is um, you cool. can actually, uh, I have, um, I've seen people where they actually use PayPal credit to fund as, as like a funding source to buy the product. And then you got to, you know, basically you, 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 you buy now, pay later. They uh, get a deal, close a deal, make money and then pay off. And so essentially it's free, you know what I mean? Awesome. So it's, awesome. uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. 
Yeah, make sure you go to your Gmail and your promotions folder for logins. Sometimes it goes there, but it'll be coming in. All right, so let's wrap this up, Corey. Um, and uh, awesome. say thank you very much for everybody that's on. Appreciate everybody that's uh, participated with us tonight. We're going to do this a couple more times. Um, and we'll go through uh, maybe a couple more case studies and we'll go through some other uh, details um, and as you ask questions and as we do stuff. We'll do one on just like finding deals. Um, one, we'll give you, maybe we'll do a, a, like a case study of um, actually get to hear a call, we'll analyze a call, which I think would be really fun <laughs> to be able to do. Um, so yeah. we got a lot of cool stuff. We'll work on that. Um, otherwise, guys, thank you so much for getting signed up. If you have any issues whatsoever, Chelsea, you can reach her at help at fliptyfreedom.com. Help at fliptyfreedom.com. She's on chat down here and she'll be able to uh, help you out if you have any issues. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for participating. We tried to do this in 30 minutes, but you guys asked a lot of questions, so we have fun. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, God bless. God bless you guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Sean. See you guys. See ya.